What's going on YouTube? Mike here again and today I wanted to do a kind of an opinion video or just um, personal preference video but this is a video about future tech and current tech that I'm most excited about. There's a lot of awesome gadgets that are currently out that just came out recently and that are on the horizon and I wanted to tell you about five that I'm most excited about so let's get started. All right, so of the five pieces of tech that I am most excited about, these are in no particular order, but the first one I want to talk about is the Surface Book with Performance Base. Does everybody know Microsoft released this recently? They announced it last month, um, and it's available for sale right now. You can get it at Best Buy, in the Microsoft Store, or online on various websites. Now, this is something that I'm really excited about because I had the Surface Book, the original one, and I returned it, or I didn't say I returned it, I sold it because it was underpowered. And now, with the Surface Book with Performance Base, Microsoft has really solved that. I mean, they've upgraded all the components. The battery life is supposed to give you 16 hours. Of course, it's got a dedicated graphics card, which is the 920M, I think, 925M. I'll have to double check that, but I'll throw a little blurb in the video if I screwed it up. But the performance of this is improved leaps and bounds. Like you can watch lots of videos on it. Obviously, I don't have it, so I can't review it. But there have been many reviewers that have done a video on this. But I can definitely say that I'm excited about this product. Whether I get it or not is another story just because it starts at like $2,400. So it's fairly pricey, and it can go all the way up into the 3000s But it is something I'm excited about just because I think Microsoft has raised the bar on this, which is good because it just pushes innovation between them, competition between Samsung, Apple, and the other companies. So it's a good product. So moving on to the second one I'm excited about uh, is also a Microsoft product, and that is the Microsoft Surface Studio. Now this will not be available to actually purchase until March. You can pre-order it now from Microsoft or Best Buy, but I was actually able to go into the Microsoft Store yesterday and play with this thing in person. And I gotta say, at least initial look, it, definitely lives up to the hype um, just the hinge design is pretty impressive and just how clean it looks because obviously you've got the screen and then all the components are in the base and of course you can draw on this you can use this the dial but to me it just looks super cool so this is something I'm actually highly considering trying to get when it comes out in March so obviously uh, I might have to sell a kidney or sell a testicle or something to pay for it but it's something that I, I'm really excited about and would love to actually own one and get my hands on one. So moving on to the third item that I'm super excited about. And again, this is Microsoft killing it and it's the Surface Pro 5. Obviously, if you've watched my channel, you know I own a Surface Pro 4. I've owned a Surface Book. I've owned every Surface model except for the Surface Pro 1. And I got to say, um, each iteration just gets better and better so I'm really looking forward to the Surface Pro 5 there's a ton of rumors out there some say it's gonna be in January some say it's gonna be in the spring I kinda of think it'll probably be released in the spring maybe around March but it's supposed to have the updated processor the Kaby Lake which is I think the seventh generation Intel chip but again it's supposed to have better performance and better battery life so with the Surface Pro 4 that I have, I think the performance is excellent. I have the i7 model. I have no complaints with the performance, but I do have issues with the battery life. So if Microsoft can just up the battery life, I really don't care if the performance gets better, but if they can improve the battery life by at least two to three hours, to me, that is a win. And obviously the port selection, the rumors are saying that they're probably gonna include a USB type C. So hopefully they don't go all USB type C like Apple did, because then Again, you got your whole dongleitis, dongle gate happening. So hopefully they'll include one USB Type-C and at least one uh, current USB 3.0. But um, it remains to be seen, but that's kind of what I think Microsoft will do. I don't think they'll go all USB-C, but I could be wrong. But at any rate, that's a product that I'm super excited about. Um, we'll see if it's worthy to upgrade from the 4 to the 5. It would have to be a pretty big jump to make me go from the 4 to the 5, but we'll see if it's... All that in a bag of chips, and I guess I'll be putting my Surface Pro 4 on Craigslist or eBay or handing it down to one of my family members, but we'll see. So moving on on my list, moving away from Microsoft finally, and that's to Apple. 
and that would be the iPhone 8. And this is one that all the tech reviewers, all the rumor mills are saying is the one to get, the one to wait for. And obviously, Apple always releases their iPhones in October as far as when you're able to buy. Uh, they may announce it sooner, but you're probably not going to be able to get your hands on it until October. But this is the one where Apple finally is supposed to be on par or exceeding all the current uh, competitors, especially like Samsung. So supposedly this is going to have edge-to-edge -edge screen. It's going to be bezel-less and wireless charging. Maybe, hopefully, finally. But it's supposed to, again, have all the stuff that we've been wanting. And... Um, we're finally going to get it but this one is supposed to be a complete redesign if you believe all the rumors so obviously apple has not confirmed or denied anything about the iphone 8 they never do but uh, rumors are plentiful and a lot of times the rumors tend to get it right especially as it gets closer like uh, with the iphone 7 they pretty much had it nailed down even to what it looks like so so we'll see but obviously there'll be more as it gets closer as people start designing cases for it but this is the one to get and it's actually one that I'm really excited about um, currently I'm rocking a Samsung phone which I, I do like but um, at the same time I'm really curious to see what Apple's going to do and I'm hoping they impress us and maybe they can lure me back to the uh, iPhone ecosystem but we'll see but continuing on to my final product that I'm super excited about and that is a smartwatch the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier specifically now this watch was announced uh, back at IFA quite a while ago, so this summer, and it's just now finally starting to trickle into stores. It's sold out online right now, like you can't get it on Amazon, you can't get it from Samsung, but you can get it through some carriers. I know you can get it through AT&T and I think Verizon, maybe T-Mobile, but Best Buy, you can shows on their website, but it shows out of stock almost constantly. And, Going into my local store, they say they only get about two or three at a time and they're immediately gone. So right now it's actually kind of hard to get this, but all the initial reviews from this have been excellent. And it's the smartwatch that I've personally been waiting for. For me, generally I think smartwatches always seem like they're too small, especially if you got bigger hands. It just seems like the watch itself just almost looks like a toy. They always seem to make them too small. But with the Gear S3, it's the largest smartwatch face that I've seen yet. And just the interface with the dial and everything, to me, looks like it is the one to get. Now, I've owned earlier generations of the gear, and I think the Tizen OS is the best of the bunch so far. I've used an Apple Watch, um, Android Wear, Moto 360, and currently rocking a Pebble. And of all those, I think the OS and interface, which is the best, is the Tizen one from Samsung. That's just my opinion. It just seems like it's more user-friendly, and just the way to go all the way around. But again, as soon as I can get my hands on that, I'm definitely gonna buy one because that's one that I personally want. And when I do get it, I'll do a review of that. So if you're interested, just make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get that notification when it pops up. But anyway, I just wanted to do a video on five pieces of tech that I am excited about and uh, hoping I can get my hands on. So I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are. You know, what are you guys excited about? Any particular pieces of tech that you guys want to see you're particularly excited about leave it in the comments below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and as always if you've not subscribed please do so later